Welcome everyone to the Real Trekkies cast season premiere. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Daniel. What's up, Daniel? Hi, right, what's up, guys? All right, Daniel, so explain it to the Trekkies out there. What's going on with the series? Well, uh, apparently, um, we're, they announced that we're going to get, like, they're in talks with um, Michelle Yeoh to do a, a spinoff with her character. Okay, Section the, 31. The Discovery spinoff, it's, it's going to be her in Section 31. Okay, that's because, interesting. Like, if, you saw, if you saw the, uh, the deleted scene in mm -hmm. uh, the last episode, right. um, it, it, it revealed a Trill, uh, it was like a Trill guy, and he was, the, he was like a Section 31 agent. Mm -hmm. And he he uh, he got her into Section Thirty One, okay. Which uh, I think is great. I think it's great. A lot of people online though just don't like the idea because like, oh, uh, the character is really dark and right. Section Thirty One, Section Thirty One is dark already, and oh, this one, this is going to be like like so anti Star Trek. But that's why it's so good. It's going. Well, it's in a different. It's direction. it's that's what it's supposed to be. Section Thirty One is supposed to be dark and gritty and yeah, no yeah, rules. Really? Yeah, no rules. You know, that, that's gonna be so good. I love it. And I, heard I am that. definitely getting that. I am definitely getting that because you know, um, I'm struggling whether I should get Discovery season one on DVD. Right. Because uh, I'm thinking, okay, look, it, I, I gotta start doing a Star Trek collection. Of, yeah. Uh, I gotta collect a season, but you know, I don't know. I mean, Discovery, it's, it's kind of like first I like it, and then I'm kind of like meh, and then I like it again. Well, you really liked it. And I hated it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you don't but like it. It's like it's like I'm I'm fluctuating from liking it to hating it to liking it again. Uh, right. And now and now they're saying it may or may not. Uh, people are like, oh, it's not canon. It's not canon. And some people go, oh yeah, it is canon. I mean, CBS says it's canon. Well, according but to the new findings, um, what they're going to do to say that they're canon is that they're going to have the discovery get lost. And it's gonna pop up in the future and stay there. So in oh, other words, yeah, 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 yeah. So like, in other like, words nobody gets see. to see the technology, nobody gets to do any of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, see that. And they that's never they return should. home, they stay in the future. That that's what they should have done with Enterprise. You know, that's what I've always wanted them to in fact in Enterprise season five they probably would have done that because the fifth season would have been about time travel. Yeah, so this by the end of the second season they're probably going to get lost. And they're going to yeah. be trapped, and they, they can't go in the past because then it will alter the timeline if yeah. they go back. So they they are meant to be lost. Exactly. See that that would boost his ratings. I feel because nobody likes his time period. The the the, the 23rd century. It's been done to death. Right. You know what I mean? What's up, Scott? You're in the season premiere of the Real Trekkies cast. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Scott. How are you? Doing good. And Daniel's talking about Section 31 series. Oh, uh, they're planning. Yeah, they're doing one series and we're just hearing rumors that discovery is going to get lost in space where it's going to be it, it that's why we've never heard about the spore drive because they get lost according to history but they will show up in the future so uh, and they get stuck and they stay in the future because they can't go in the past to alter the past because they're not supposed to be in the past yeah so, oh, so that means so that means like Discovery is going to get the the next generation uh, upgrade. They're going to get upgraded, but I don't think yeah. there's going to be a spore drive. They're just going to be you know. What no no spore drive? Oh yeah, I heard I about know. that. I heard about that. There's like a lawsuit or something, and they can't use it anymore. Oh yeah, because of that. Yeah, because of a video game. Yeah, so they can't use it anymore. Well, probably not. So they got to create something new, right? Well, they're just not going to have it anymore. They're just going to have regular. They're going to get stuck in the future, and they're going to get just get, uh, you know. So, like, do you think they're going to create like another thing that can travel the multiverse? No, I think no. they'll just keep them as uh, in the universe that they're in. Yeah, and they'll be part of the future, not the past. Oh, I hope so. That can that can, that's, that's the only thing that can boost ratings, you know. And you know, a lot yeah. of people say like, "Oh, well, why is the technology still more advanced in TOS?" Like, uh, what do you guys say? What would you? Um... I mean, I the way I would explain it is I would have Discovery disappear because maybe no, they know, did but... technology that wasn't they weren't supposed to use, and you know, I mean, I don't understand what they're supposed to make the Enterprise look, you know, updated too, which is weird. So I mean, yeah, you know, get that. I, I, for one, am interested in the Picard series. 
Yeah, same here. I have a feeling it's going to be canon to the to the prime universe, not an alternate universe, because if they're trying to play that Discovery is part of the original universe too, then th why wouldn't Picard be part of the same universe also? So I'm hoping that they use Picard to show up at the end of Discovery where he encounters Discovery and in his time. And then it causes him to go on a separate mission where they have his own show, you know, mm -hmm. you know, so that's what I think happens. And I'm, I'm, I, I don't know if discovery is going to work. Like, you know, one, the way I look at season two is I consider it season one. Yeah. Because they green lit season two before season one was even done and out. So the only way it's going to be the ultimate test is if it's going to be a success is if we get to the end of season two and see what the fans think, because this was just premature approval. They, they didn't even look at ratings or nothing. And I have a feeling that, you know, they're gonna, this is going to be a whole new season because they're going to put Enterprise in there. They're uh -huh. going to try to get a different type of audience. They'll probably get rid of the spore drive, probably get rid of all that stuff. But then what kind of show is it going to be? Because you need a captain. You can't just have a show without well, a captain. You're supposed to captain either every season or every yeah, other Yeah, you can't episode. have that. you got to have Steve Bowie. So he's going to either be captain. Real quick. Michael Burnham is probably going to be captain, and that's going to be the end of it. Or, you know what I'm saying? They can't just have that. So um, I, I don't know. I mean, to me, the overall consensus is that not a lot of people like Discovery. Half the people don't even know what it is. Half mm -hmm. the people don't even know CBS All Access exists. And that's the problem. It's like they should have made it where it was on Netflix. Yes, you know? definitely. Because people don't know CBS All Access, and it's going to take years for that thing to take off, really. If you it know? takes off at all. Yeah, I wouldn't even have the card on. I'll show you God is – when the only original show you've got is of Star Trek. And secondly, the only other shows you've got are things they can look up on like YouTube or, or these other sites. They're not going to tune in. I have a feeling that um, we're going to have a merger or something or, or, or CBS All Access is going to be bought by Netflix and then there's going to be all Netflix because – I don't so see CBS All Access taking off at all. It's not really that big compared to, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing. The only original programming they have besides Star Trek is, I think, the spinoff to The Good Wife and Twilight Zone. Oh, that, okay. That's it. That so I didn't know. There's no real reason for a CBS All Access. They could just put it on Netflix, you know? But, Daniel, I mean, are you excited that we're going to have three Star Trek shows? Yeah, definitely. But the only problem know. is you have to get CBS All Access for now, or, or whatever. Oh, no, I got I got put. I can watch it on Foot Locker. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, but though you know, there's, there's another one coming. It's called Star Trek Lower Decks. I don't know if you've heard That's about an it. Animated, but it's yeah. Like an animated yeah. series. It's gonna be like on the weakest, on on the weakest, most unimportant ship in the fleet, and it's just gonna be about the lower decks people. Uh, oh, snow. Well, Rick and Morty guy, right? Isn't that they're doing it? Yeah, the Rick and Morty guy. So that might be good, actually. That might be good. Um, so I know it's not Star Trek related, but again, I want to say rest in peace to Stan Lee. Same here. Um, we're yeah, all definitely. devastated. We all covered this before. I was just a mess all day. Because they um, posted over, I saw over on Facebook, they had somebody uh, posting even on his star of Walk of Fame. There's a guy dressed up as Captain America with uh, a yeah. little wreath. Yeah, I mean, I, again, he he is a huge part of my life, like his creations, and and he's going to be definitely. It's, miss. it's a blow. It's a blow. We, I miss beyond belief. It's it's a blow. So, all right, back to Star Trek. Um, Quentin Tarantino's movie still in the works. The other Star Trek movie, Star Trek Four, is a complete disaster mess because they will not give the pay raise to Christopher Pine or Chris Hemsworth. So it's as good as dead. Right yeah. now, I heard it was canceled, they, but also I heard that Megan Fox it might replace Chris Pine. I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, honestly, 
they, they, I have a feeling that they're going to have to go for the money. And I, what we big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, just yeah, yeah. go for the money. Just go for the it's money, not, pay him, and stop yeah. it already. Yeah. Like, I, I don't understand what the big deal is. Yeah, you know? I don't get These people make so much money as it is, exactly. and they want to do more? They, they, they want to save. They want. They, they don't want. They want to cut. What after. are you gonna save? You're gonna you, you put out a shitty movie because you can't have Captain Kirk in there. That's dumb. Just give him the money and that's it. You'll make it back. Like this is what I don't understand. Hand over fist. You'll make it back in in triplets. I mean, it's ridiculous. So. But you know what? I think I think the reason why they're doing this is because like I don't know a lot of Trek a lot of Trek people. Well, you know, say that the movies are doing less and less money. I mean, I don't know. Listen, all I know is that. And I said this with Beyonds, right? Yeah. People came out there. You and I had a, just uh, – um, we disagreed about this. Oh, uh, yeah. I said – like people were saying no way is Beyond ever getting a sequel. No way is it approved. It's a failure. And I told you – and you agreed. And I told you no. They're making a sequel. I told you that, though. I said it. I said it was approved. It made a profit. It's going out there. It didn't make a huge profit, but it made a profit. Profit <laughs> up is up. Up is up. So until they decided to get cheap, there was a sequel happening. They just didn't they wanted mm -hmm. to pay everybody a pay cut, which is bullshit. So mm -hmm. that was happening, and if they can get their shit together, JJ Abrams is a little busy right now, but when he gets his act together and decides to pay Christopher Pine, he will do it and then we'll get it done. And we'll pay Chris Hemsworth too. And that's the end of it. Um but it's just a, just holding out, holding out, holding out. So, all right. We're going to get out of here anyway. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now.